Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I come through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for our weekly maker show, Make or Break. Along the way I find some good ones and some great ones. And right now, I'm going to share them with you. This is Sarah's top 5 DIY bookshelves. Alright, let's get started with number 5. Ashley from Handmade Haven shared how she made this super simple DIY ladder bookshelf. This project is perfect for the beginner woodworker who is looking for an easy, functional piece of furniture that they made to add to their home or a gift to somebody else. All you need are some 2x2s, hinges, paint, and pine for the shelves. That's it! She used pocket holes for the joinery, but if you don't have a pocket hole jig, you can use some wood glue and screw it all together. This is so simple, and if you are new to woodworking and want a fun project to get you started, you need to check this out. The Rehab Life is number four with their mid-century modern bookcase. I like this one a lot. Even though this is a larger bookshelf, it is a pretty simple build, and it only requires a couple tools to accomplish. Liz built this in four different segments. Two matching segments for the top and the bottom, and two matching segments for each of the sides. Once she had all four segments done, she laid them all out on the floor, pushed them together, and then secured them. Next, she added some trim around the entire front of the bookcase, which really made it look complete. After adding some stain and feet, this project was done. Next up is number three. Sean Boyd made a little plywood bookcase with finger joints. This build is a little bit more complex than the previous two, but with any build, there is, as Sean puts it, a give and take. You can make a project as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Using plywood and a couple power tools, Sean was able to incorporate a few different woodworking techniques into his project. He used the table saw to make finger joints, and he used his router to cut mortise and tenon joints for the shelves. I really like that you cannot see the joinery for the shelves. It gives this a really clean look, but with the finger joints, there's still plenty of character. Number two is Anna White. Her and her husband built these DIY shelves for only $30 a piece. Anna had a space in her home where she wanted more storage, but not something that took up a lot of space. So she came up with this design. She used 2x2s for the frames, 1x12s for the shelves and for the top, and then she used quarter inch plywood for the decorative backing that doubles as some reinforcement. I love watching her walk through her thought process out loud as she's building things. It really makes me feel normal that Rob and I do the same when we're trying to build something. It turns out we're not crazy. Anyway, if you're looking for a cheap DIY way to make some large shelves in your home, you really need to check out this project. And coming in at number one is Homemade Modern with this crazy simple build that looks absolutely amazing. How simple is crazy simple? Look at that. Ben started off with some pre-cut angle iron from his local home improvement store. He measured where the shelves were going to be and then drilled holes into the iron. Next, he took 2x10s and cut them down to 4 foot pieces for the shelves. Using some fir balusters, he screwed those to the bottom of the shelves for some extra support. All that was left was to nail the iron to the shelves through the pre-drilled holes that he had already made and then add some Danish oil to finish. And voila! This DIY bookshelf is complete and only cost him around $70 for materials. Well done, Ben! Alright guys, do me a favor and like this video and if you have not already subscribed, you need to do that now. And be sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our shows that come out during the week. We'll see you then.